In this video, I will show you how to send WhatsApp messages using Twilio from Node-RED. Twilio is a cloud communication platform that allows developers to send messages, such as WhatsApp. It provides an easy way to send WhatsApp messages using API, making automation seamless. Now, let's get started. Click Start for free on the Twilio website and sign up using your Google account to try it for free. After logging in, go to the Twilio console, select the Develop tab, then Messaging, and click Send a WhatsApp message under the Try it out section. Here, we will connect the WhatsApp sandbox to test sending and receiving WhatsApp messages. To connect to the WhatsApp sandbox, send a message to the Twilio number. Simply type join followed by the sandbox name. For example, send, join close letter. This will link your WhatsApp to the Twilio sandbox for testing. You will then receive a message saying you are all set, confirming that your number is now connected to the sandbox and ready to send and receive messages from Twilio's WhatsApp number. In the sandbox, we are connected to Twilio's default number, which will be used for testing. Next is the send a business initiated message step. Here, we can test sending a message to the number that has joined the sandbox. Twilio provides three message templates, and in this example, I will use the verification code template. Scroll down and click the send template message button. You should then receive a message on your WhatsApp, sent from Twilio. In the request section, you will find example code for sending messages using various methods, including CURL, Python, and Node.js. We will extract the URL from this request to send a message. Simply copy the URL, as we will use it later in Node-RED. In Node-RED, add an inject node as a trigger and connect it to a function node. This function node will define the parameters needed to send a WhatsApp message. Make sure the URL matches the one provided in your Twilio console. Inside the payload, there are three key parameters, body, the message content that will be sent. From, the Twilio WhatsApp number. Two, the WhatsApp number that has joined the sandbox. After setting this up, connect the function node to an HTTP request node to send the message. In the HTTP request node, select method set by message method. Then, Check Use Authentication, choose Basic Authentication, and enter your Twilio account SID as the username. For the password, use your auth token. To get the auth token, go to the request code section and check Show Auth Token. The token will be displayed, copy it and paste it as the password in the HTTP request node. Once everything is set up, click Deploy to apply the changes. Now, Node-RED is ready to send a WhatsApp message to the defined number with the message we specified. Click the Inject node in Node-RED, and you should see the message successfully received on the target WhatsApp number. If the message doesn't arrive, check the Twilio console for any errors and ensure that the number has joined the sandbox correctly. Next, add a debug node after the HTTP request node to monitor the output payload when the message is sent. Then, try modifying the message content, deploy the changes, and test sending the message again. By checking the debug node, we can see the response from the HTTP request node, which helps verify if the message was successfully sent or if there were any errors. Go back to the sandbox and click next step to proceed to the user initiated conversation section. In this step, the sandbox will receive messages sent from your WhatsApp number. You can see the messages that were sent from your WhatsApp. Next, I will show you how to receive these messages in Node-RED. In the sandbox settings, there is a field called when a message comes in, which contains a URL. This URL is used by Twilio messaging to handle incoming WhatsApp messages. Twilio will send the message data to this URL for further processing. To integrate this with Node-RED, we need to use a webhook URL from Node-RED. However, since Node-RED is currently running locally, it cannot be accessed externally. Therefore, I will demonstrate this using Node-RED installed on a VPS, which allows it to be accessible from the internet. First, add an HTTP and node in Node-RED. Set the method to post. In the URL field, enter slash webhook. 
This will serve as the webhook URL for Twilio, which will receive incoming WhatsApp messages. Next, add a function node in Node-RED to handle incoming WhatsApp messages from Twilio. This function will extract the sender's phone number and the message content. Add a timestamp to the received message. Prepare the data for further processing, such as storing it in a database or triggering other actions. In this example, I will use a debug node to display the output and verify that the message is received correctly. Since the Node-RED instance is running on a public IP address, we can use this as the webhook URL in the Twilio sandbox settings to receive WhatsApp messages. Make sure the port used by Node-RED is correctly configured and accessible. Then, in the When a Message Comes In field in the Twilio sandbox settings, enter your public Node-RED URL, followed by slash webhook, which we previously set in the HTTP in Node. Next, click the Save button to store the sandbox configuration. Now, let's try sending a message from your WhatsApp number to the Twilio number. Once the message is sent, we can check the debug node in Node-RED to see the message received by Twilio. In the payload, there are several pieces of information that we can use later, including sender, the phone number that sent the message, message, the content of the received message, timestamp, the time when the message was received. Now, we have successfully sent a message from Twilio to WhatsApp in Node-RED and received a message sent to Twilio in Node-RED. Then, what are some possible applications? An example application for this setup is OEE monitoring via WhatsApp. In this case, the concept is that the user sends a message containing a machine number. The system then receives the message, extracts the machine number, and checks if it exists in the database. If the machine number is not found, the system replies with a list of available machine numbers. If the machine number is found in the database, the system starts calculating the OEE value based on production data linked to that machine. Once the calculation is complete, the OEE result is sent back to the user via WhatsApp. This approach allows real-time OEE monitoring directly through WhatsApp without needing an additional dashboard. It can be useful for production managers, maintenance teams, and operators who need quick access to machine performance data anytime and anywhere. Now, let's try sending a WhatsApp message. The message must contain the machine number, which represents the machine we want to check the OEE value for. If the message is incorrect or the machine number is not found, the system will notify us of the error and send a list of available machine numbers that can be used. If the message matches a machine number in the database, the system will process the data based on that machine number. It will then send back the OEE data, including machine information, production date, machine status, the operator using the machine, and detailed OEE values such as availability, performance, and quality. Additionally, the system will provide the total output and defect count for that machine. We can also compare the information received via WhatsApp with the data displayed on the Node-RED dashboard. The values are identical, ensuring that the information sent through WhatsApp is real-time and accurately reflects the machine's current status. The system updates the data based on the actual machine condition, whether the machine is running, off, or stop. This ensures that operators and managers can monitor machine performance instantly through WhatsApp without needing to access the dashboard. In this video, we demonstrated how to send and receive WhatsApp messages using Twilio and Node-RED. We set up Twilio's WhatsApp sandbox, configured Node-RED to send messages, and integrated a webhook to receive incoming messages. As a practical application, we use this setup for real-time OEE monitoring, where users can request machine performance data via WhatsApp. The system processes the request, retrieves the relevant data, and sends back OEE values, machine status, operator details, and production results. We also verify that the data received through WhatsApp matches the Node-RED dashboard, ensuring real-time monitoring of machine conditions, whether running, off, or stop. Although Twilio requires a paid plan, it offers a more reliable and ban-free solution, unlike unofficial WhatsApp integrations that risk being blocked.
The WhatsApp sandbox used in this demo is for testing, but for production use, we can register an official WhatsApp business number through Twilio to send and receive messages seamlessly. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.